Oh yes. Kids. Oh, this is a safe tourist attraction. We said safe. Nobody said anything about safe. We're Andre and Lisa, full-time travelers and nomads since 2018. Last year, we bought a camper van in Europe and we're currently traveling along the coast of Portugal. This year, we're on an epic 20,000 kilometer adventure, making our way from the south of Spain to the north of Scandinavia and back to southern Italy. So subscribe and follow our adventures. Last time, we visited Cabo da Roca, the westernmost point of continental Europe. We drank beer and we surfed the Bay of Peniche. What looks the pot? <laughs> this week, we walk on an ancient castle wall. Let's go. Walk on the wall, she said. Oh, it's going to be fun, she said. Oh my God. We see the biggest waves in the world. Oh, this is nothing, man. Come to Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> and we park next to a beautiful beach. So let's go to Obidos. Obidos. Come, Portugal. Give us the good weather. Very short drive. To Abidos, and if all goes well, we're going to spend a few hours just looking out, looking around the town, I guess. We're going to walk all the way around the castle wall. Welcome to Abidos, here's your IKEA. <laughs> Sounds good to me, let's go. Oh look, a monkey. I wish I could say the weather's improved, but Lisa's down jacket speaks volumes. But at least we got a beautiful aqueduct behind us. We're actually standing in a little parking lot here at the town of Obidos. Or was it Obidos? Or was it Obidos? Which is Obidos. Obidos. <laughs> and over Millie's head you can see the castle and there's a wall that runs all the way down there. Around, 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 and this is the length of an old aqueduct. So we're gonna go check out this town a bit and hope it doesn't get too wet. Oh, look, French, Spanish. Yeah. Oh no, in case you get lost. Not so bad. You're far away from home. <laughs> Park the Auto Caravanas de Obidos, and you can stay here for free in the daytime. When it's overnight, six euros includes service. Oh, but trust us to find the back entrance. The back room. Are they chanting pizza or are they chanting. All I know is it seems like uh, our timing is impeccable as always. Oh my lordy. Okay, are we joining the kids' tour? Oh, might be very informative. Oh How good is your Portuguese? It might be very noisy. Hmm. A short drive from Paniche is Obidos where you will find one of the finest examples of a Portuguese walled town. Due to its proximity to Lisbon, Obidos is fast becoming one of the most popular tourist day trip destinations of the region and can fluctuate between busy and empty in a single day. The ancient town walls encircling the historic center of Obidos remain surprisingly intact and the top of these walls can be walked, which provides a scenic and peaceful way to see the town from above. Definitely but intimidated by all the people. Oh, it's like swarming around us, but I, I guess that's what your side looks like, eh? And then she realized, oh, actually, I actually don't like heights that much. I can do this. Yeah, you can do it. Come on. Oh, yes. Kids. Oh, this is a safe tourist attraction. We said safe. Nobody said anything about safe. <laughs> this is the easy part, apparently. What? I think we might not go all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the castle, so we can follow Ooh. this wall to that rampart over there. Follow the wall all the way around to the castle. And you can actually see the whole original village inside the castle walls. Yeah, yeah, you gotta pay attention. Maybe you should stay at the bottom, babe. This does not feel safe. Not sure if you're supposed to stay on this side of this rail. Well, the rail is designed to keep the whole situation together. Don't drop the camera, will you? And if you look carefully, there's Mali. Two other friends there next to her. 
right, so far we haven't seen much of our I, I still haven't had my jinga. Jinga, jinga, jinga. No, jinga, we're gonna go find the famous jinga. Uh, Lekia, which we've had in Lisbon. But apparently it originates from Obidos. Yes! Right? Good reason to have another one. My lordy, look at this. Okay, let's go. Okay, I can do this. You can't walk at that pace though. It's going to take us a while. Appreciate Appreciate. Five hours later. <laughs> Meanwhile, they closed the castle an half an hour ago. Yeah, to back to the and we, we stuck on the wall. Yeah, almost there. The almost there. Almost there. Yet. Yeah, that could easily have happened. It's happened once, twice before. How are you doing? <sighs> this is quite hectic. Yeah, it's intense, eh? Perhaps not the best activity someone with fear of heights. So but nonetheless, it's absolutely beautiful. Really more stunning than I imagined. Okay, well, there's the stairs down. So that's good. We were up there. Uh, we, can, we can go back up there if you like. No, thank you. Once it's enough. Okay, right, let's <laughs> we go up those stairs. We can go back. We can go back. No, I think it's enough castle. Let's go check out the village a bit, I think. Oh, nice. Welcome to Orbitos. There's Marie Potter to Aqueduct. We came in here, we went up and we walked all the way around Whoa. on the wall to there. We came down here. Oh this looks like naughty business. Easter eggs. <laughs> Don't drop it. I've seen plenty of pieces on the ground. Really? Uh, oh, it just looks just like a sweet pie. Why are you trembling, darling? Is it a sugar rush or lack of sugar? Lack of sugar. Oh my god. Okay. Mm, that's delicious. Very exciting day so far. Spending the last few hours doing all the fun land life stuff. Two and a half hours later. But we did some laundry, way overdue. We have clean bedding, we have clean clothes, it's exciting. Oh yeah, I was in my last pair of underwear again. <laughs> and we're actually still in the town of Obidos, the little calf that's right behind us, but it's after two in the afternoon. We're heading for Sagres. We're hoping, Sagres. No, we're no. not heading for Sagres. <laughs> we're heading for Nazare, and hopefully we're gonna see some big waves. <laughs> That's where waves are born. I don't know if there's big waves today. Look we're going that. to Nazare. We're going to see big waves, hopefully. If we don't, we're just going to find a place to stay at. Let's go see what this whole Nazare thing's all about. Let's see if we can make it around this bend somehow. Welcome to Nazare. It's supposed to be in here. Your destination is on the right. In here. If you drive in here, you'll be able to get up. these waves because I'll tell you what the parking situation is uh, <clears throat> I have no idea how you even got Millie in here <laughs> <laughs> well come on let's go see okay. the way I think we can stressful. get through here that was very stressful how stressful was going down here gonna be <laughs> I'm not sure where the surfing happens I don't see the surfing oh nice beach Considering the consistent foul weather, we had our hopes high for Nazare, the setting for some of the world's largest waves, which in winter can reach over 30 meters. The powerful Atlantic Ocean waves are channeled through the Nazare Canyon, Europe's largest underwater canyon, to create massive waves taller than buildings. In the winter, fearless surfers come from across the world to surf these mammoths, with events attracting over 100,000 spectators. So though the giant waves aren't here today, it's pretty. Up to 30 meter waves have been recorded. Now, obviously from perspective, these look puny, but they're actually not that small. You can see the people down there on the beach. 
so is that where the underwater canyon is supposed to be that causes the way? <laughs> but unfortunately today... Man, this is nothing man, come to Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> when they have the surf competitions here, people get dragged out by jet skis on their board in order to surf the big wave. Yeah, incredible. <laughs> oh nice, they don't have to paddle. How lazy can they be? <laughs> Let's get out another way because it's windy, it's getting late, we still want to head up the coast. Let's go find ourselves a parking. Let's see if we can find a spot up the coast. I'm just checking myself in your glasses. No, hold stuff. Come on. Hey? Let's go. Okay. After we left Nazare, the heavens opened again and we just kept driving north until we found a summer resort town of Praia de Vieira which is nestled between the River Lys and the ancient pine forest of Pinal de Lera. So there's no spa- oh, there's nobody it's there. Okay, okay. Meter. Hmm. Pretty spot. About 40 kilometers north of Nazare, and we found this little holiday resort town, and we're probably gonna stay here tonight. You're making me feel like expectantly. I'm gonna impart some wisdom about this place. Now if the sun can just come out, yeah. maybe we'll go for a walk. To the beach later. Mm -hmm. But for now we have strawberries. Oh, strawberries. Mm -hmm. To the south of the town, the beach stretches off for several kilometers with a backdrop of low sand dunes and pine forest. It's still home to a traditional population of fishermen who are dedicated to their daily task of going out to sea each morning. Sun finally out. For five minutes. Uh, five minutes. So we're outside our van for five minutes. Lots of fishermen around us. They don't bother. Show you what they're like. Yeah. The waves are rather ominous. These waves are bigger than Nazareth. The weather is just absolute nightmare at the moment. And tomorrow we're going to move closer to Foz. No, wait. Figuera de Foz. We're, we're not going to Figuera de Foz. We decided we're just going to look for a beach. Tomorrow the sun's apparently out. Yay! We're keeping our fingers crossed. And hope for a little bit of sun. Four weeks in, guys. Four weeks. I think I we had three want days a beach of sun. Day. <laughs> we had three days of sunshine in, in Portugal. And I think it was. No day was out rain. No, I think three days of a half sunshine. Madness. Look at this ocean, eh? Check how angry it is. Look at this guy. He's going out. He's going for it. He's going for it. I think he's going to... I think he's going to push. He's going to push. Oh, that's a big one. It's a big one. Nice. Very exciting day today. Sun might actually be out today. We're gonna make the most of today. Although we were hoping to visit Fuguera de Foz, the relentless rain forced us further north to the gorgeous Praia da Costa Nova. The most picturesque aspect of Costa Nova is its coastal road, along which a line of wooden huts is painted in brightly colored stripes alternating with white. Originally built by fishermen as shelters and equipment stores, these huts have now been converted into characteristic holiday homes. Oops. Hmm, blue skies. This is not Fuguera de Foz, is it? <laughs> no, this is Costa Nova. Costa Nova. Hmm, okay, well, today is a perfect example of one of those days where, well, this is sort of, 
in a way typical of what we're doing. It's a day where things do not go according to plan, but that also doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad thing. It's just what comes with van life. Mm. You don't always know how the day is going to turn out. And it's in a way, it's that uncertainty that makes it quite fun, <laughs> but it's also that uncertainty that makes it quite challenging challenging <laughs> and if you do a day after day after day and it's what you do uh, especially if you want to keep moving because it's one thing to find a place that's nice you can just stay for a week but ultimately right now we need to keep moving so long story short now we just south of Aviero uh, it's Sunday it's super busy we found amazing parking right here at the beach we might actually stay here tonight I think we will stay here I think tonight. we will stay here tonight rain we'll forecast for good. tomorrow we don't know what's going to happen and I just know we're going to go check out the beach quickly maybe there's even a kite surf fish if the swell isn't too big otherwise we're just going to chill out here and enjoy the rest of the day and see how it turns out. I'm sure this beach is going to look better than the previous one. And there's also some cute little striped houses to see here in Costa Nova. It's quite a tourist attraction. So yes. we'll go have a look. But first things first, before we uh, do more stuff, we have to uh, just uh, do the Portuguese necessity. Uh, uh, this is what makes everything better. Look, La Pastel Nata. That's the reason why we have to leave Portugal, actually. <laughs> anyway, cheers. Cheers. And guys, from here we're going to do a day trip into Aveiro. Aveiro is known as the Venice of Portugal. <laughs> Don't know what to expect. Uh, <laughs> we're moving on from there pretty much to Porto. Right? Yeah, so we're going to obviously try and see Porto. Gosh, let's just hope for some good weather. And Easter's coming up, so we <laughs> don't know what to expect and how busy it's going to be. And then we're sort of north of Porto and we're out of Portugal soon. So if you guys, uh, like we're seeing, smash that like button and follow us along on this journey. This is just the beginning of the year. We're going to head back into Spain and then there's so much more to come. Enjoy the last week of Portugal with us and then on to Spain again. Yeah, yes, a good weather. <laughs> And good pasta de nata, you. <laughs> I'm gonna lie if I say that this is not demoralizing. Perfect. You did it properly. Yes. Pick them and sink them. Mm.